Hey guys, fresh update on the Jag. Um, going to be having a big weekend this weekend. Got a lot to work to do. Um, I'll show you some of the parts I got in the mail and um, some beer that I'm going to be drinking. It's not, it's not Budweiser or Bud Light this time. Um, yeah, so I'll just jump right in. Let's see if I can flip this around. As you can see, the uh, garage is a bit of a mess, but I mean, that's kind of how it goes when your car's in pieces. So, starting over here, car is sanded down a little bit. Um, gonna be doing a light coat of uh, paint before I throw the subframe back in. Probably just gonna start on the front. I've got a little bit of rust area right here and right here. And I actually bought some floor pans, um, not even out of the shipping material yet, but I got them from a guy online for a good deal. My springs came from Simply Performance, looking good. Looks like they're a little bit shorter than the stock ones. Um, they're about a six inches wide by oh, 11 and a half inches. Uh, no, the stock one is 11 and a half inches. The, uh, this, uh, these are about 10 and 3 quarters tall, but that could just be, you know, due to wear on the, uh, the stock ones. Got some, uh, a brake caliper kit, rebuild kit, um, which has already been done on the calipers, but I have the, uh, braided lines along with the bleeders. Um, this is a fun part. I ordered, uh, new subframe mounts to uh, replace those little guys back here, right there. Boom, replace that. Um, I got some Proforged um, tie rod ends. Got some wheel bearings for the front end, but I believe I'm gonna be doing that after. Um, this is ball joint number one is in and ready to go um but i'm gonna take it apart and replace these bolts with a uh, higher strength ones and probably a little bit lighter um let's see this guy over here is gonna be trouble i snapped because i didn't realize um you have to remove this ring when you're doing the uh ball joint replacement so i tried pressing that in and it broke the ball joint seal as you can see um, so I'm going to be cutting that out, but I also snapped a, a stud right there and right here, or right there actually. Uh, so I'm going to be drilling those out, so I'm having a, just, a, just a whole load of fun. going to be doing that. Um, probably most exciting is this full subframe poly bushing kit I got from uh, Super Pro on eBay. Full kit right here. Very good stuff. That's some paint. Um, here's the painted and coated um, uh, subframe. So there you go. Not the best paint job as it was uh, <laughs> 30 degrees when I was painting it, but it is rust proofed, everything. So we are, and heat treated actually too. So because of the paint and then uh, <laughs> I cycled it beside my, um, my heater right there. Um, don't worry, I'm not putting this in the car. That's actually for a sim platform I'm building. Um, there's the number one fun tool of the weekend. Um, over here. Another fun tool I bought. But installed is one bushing. Woohoo. These actually weren't too bad. I heated the poly up right by the, uh, the heater there and it slid pretty much straight in and for beer today <laughs> this is what we got can't take it off it is wisconsin so i mean we get crazy all right i'll update you as i go time for a beer break celebrating getting these two guys out Nice little tap set here. It's kind of cheap. It's from Harbor Freight, but it worked great. Drilled them out and popped right out, man. Clean that one up. Yeah, 
There's the installed other one. There's my uh, bushing installed without the sleeve. Boop. So that's going to be the next one after the uh, after the uh, ball joint. All right, guys, I've been making some good progress. Got the uh, bushings in, finally. <laughs> Took me a while. <clears throat> um, I wanted to go over the uh, the brake assembly because it's pretty easy to forget how this giant piece of thing goes together. So I'll zoom in on this real quick. This attaches to the hub. This is the uh, lower caliper bolt. It acts as a spacer goes through the caliper and then it goes into the hub. So that is the uh, just sitting there in pieces. This is uh, the other side. I'll flip around. Well, I guess that is the right way. So you can see how that's put together. Caliper right into here. Bolt, bolt, and shield. Um, my next step is to uh, figure out how to put these shields back on correctly. <laughs> um, here is this amazing bushing that I finally got in the other night. Um, these are actually coated, um, so they look really cool, but um, it's just like a clear high temp high impact enamel. Um, actually it was baking it for a while with the uh, propane here because it needs a couple heat cycles to uh, harden correctly. So that was interesting with the bushings already in there. I think I melted a little bit of one right there but 
it's all good. Um, these guys, I actually posted a link online. Um, most everywhere else you can find them for about $65, $70. Um, I found a pair, or one, for 40 and so about 80 bucks for the same pretty much thing. But if you search this park number right here, JLM 118 59x you sh it should pop up lower front suspension um I think it might have been moss moss something on ebay um here's the part number for the uh castle nuts nl 609041j so there's that um Next step is to get these control arms and <laughs> hubs mounted up. Right there. This side. I cannot wait to drive this thing, but it's going to be a while. <sighs> but still making good progress. I think the main thing is I'm going to be cleaning the shop. After this thing gets back together, um, got my press out tool over there. Well, they're a little bit too big for most of the stuff that I had, so make sure to order the right size if you ever order one of those. Um, but I was able to use it. Also, uh, it looks like piss, but it's actually a pre workout. So, <laughs> figure that, point that out. Act like spacers on the control arm. Well, not spacers, but locking spacers, basically, I believe. Um, so that's where I'm at. And that's pretty much a wrap for this weekend. But it is coming together and looking great. Um, I'm actually going to stick the stock sway bar back on it because they're pretty easy to change. Um, and then I'll probably order one next year. But I'll be ordering a, uh, a rear to put on and then uh, kind of progress the handling from there. Get these springs in once the subframes on the car. Um, I'll keep a assembling. And uh, next week's probably going to, well, not next week, but within the next two weeks, I'll probably be painting the engine bay, doing those lower mounts right here that I keep talking about doing. Um, and then putting this up, mounting it, and maybe a little rust repair. We'll see. So thanks, guys.